people whose children were small in the 2000s. I read your books out loud, and I love them. Is, is it true? Did you decide that kids lit was just too bright and cheerful for your taste? Um, I decided that it might be interesting to have terrible things happen to orphans over and over again. Right. And when you first submit, I don't know how it worked, but when you first submitted uh, the manuscript for the first book, A Bad Beginning, did people go, this is a little dark for kids? Um, I first told the idea to an editor I had met who, uh, after reading um, one of my novels for adults that was set in high school, had an idea that I might write something for children. And I had this idea about terrible things happening to orphans, and I knew it was such a horrible idea that the idea of writing it down and then submitting it professionally was obviously absurd. Yes. And so I met her uh, in a bar where alcoholic beverages are served, mm -hmm. and I bought her one, and I told her the idea, and she said that she liked it very much, which uh, embarrassed me because I thought it meant that she was a lightweight, and that in the morning, um, as so many... Uh, women say to so many men, what seems like a good idea, you know, turns out not to be. Yes, that's um, how that happens. But it turns out she is Canadian, my editor, and so she drinks like a fish, so she wasn't a lightweight at all, and in the morning she said that uh, the idea still seems like a good one, and here we are. Lemony Snicket, where does lemony come from? Um, when I was uh, researching uh, my very first novel, The Basic Age, I was calling uh, right-wing political and religious organizations and asking them to mail me their materials so that I could mock them in my novels. Um, and I was on the phone with one such organization, and uh, they said, so what is your name so we can mail you these materials? And I thought, uh, oh, you better not say your real name. Um, and so I opened my mouth, and what came out was the phrase, lovely snicket. And then there was a pause. <laughs> and then the woman said, is that spelled how it sounds? <laughs> so there you are. Yeah. Let me sneak it. Now, I, the books, of course, starting with the very first one, became hugely popular, selling millions and millions. And I understand that when you used to go around and talk to your very young fans, you would appear as Lemony Snicket's representative or agent? Uh, yeah, that's still what I tell everyone. Um, I announced that Lemony Snicket um, can't make it after all for a reason that sounds uh, fraudulent. And slowly, the young people figure out that I'm somebody pretending to be somebody pretending to be somebody. Yeah, that's very um, confusing to them. Yeah, well, they're used, you know, they're often in schools, so they're used to adults saying completely dishonest.